Good evening, everyone. Hi. People, do you hear me? ¿Me escucha? ¿Sabrán escucharme? Yes. No, no, teacher. Hi. Hi, everyone. Welcome, people. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, good evening. I am okay. I am fine. Thank you for asking. How are you guys? How are you? Oh, in my case, uh, it was terrible this day. <laughs> really? Why? What happened? Yeah, with the, with the, this hot, this hot is very, very terrible. Oh, yes, it is. Very, very, uh, very caliente, como dicen por right. <laughs> yes. It's, uh, it's terrible. El calor está terrible, está insoportable. Yes, yes, yes. And it's you? really fun. And you, how about you? I'm okay, I'm fine. Um, This day was normal. Nothing out of the normal things that I usually do, so. I'm okay, yes. <laughs> In Sultan, it's, it's very hot, right? Uh, over here in Sultan, it's very hot every day, 24-7. <laughs> it's 24-7 over here, yes. If you, uh, if you ask you... me, I am sweating. I am sweating right now. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 I can see. I am sweating. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> it's, it's you see, uh, Peter, you see, you seen uh, uh, fresh. A what, sorry? You are fresh. You seem you are fresh, that you are fresh. No, but I'm not. I'm not. Ah? <laughs> I'm not fresh. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Welcome, everyone. Hi, everyone. Jorge, Edith, Jancy, Mayra, Brian, Denise, Melanie, and Sandra. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you for asking. Happy, as always. Every day. Happy. Yes. Okay. Why not? Por qué no? <laughs> why not? Yeah. Yes, why not? Why not? It's Tuesday. Yes, it's it's what it is our market, right? Yes. Jancy is I... dangerous. <laughs> yes, it's cooking. Have... Hey, we're we're hungry. <laughs> Tenemos hambre, mire. Tenemos hambre. Yeah. We're hungry. Oh hungry. my god. <laughs> yes, she's she's cooking. She's preparing the dinner. <laughs> All right. Yeah, people. Thank what you. you thank cooking? you. What are What are you cooking? She's, she's cooking. I think she's cooking plat platens, platens. Uh, guys, thank you. Thank you very. Platins. Thank you very much for joining us today. To joining today's session, it is a pleasure for me to be here. And thank you all. We are going to start. Vamos a iniciar. Let me see. I didn't erase this. Hold on. Oh, uh, let me see. We're ten people right now. Okay, let me take attendance. After the attendance, we will be able to continue. Let me see Anna Victoria Galan. She's not here. Asalia Melanie Portillo de Espinosa. Brian David Ramirez Bernal. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Orrego Monge. Good evening, teacher. I'm here, teacher. Good evening, Melanie. Thank you, thank you, Carlos. Present. Carlos Eliezer Dimas Soriano. Denise Alejandra Zuniga Aldana. Present. Thank you. Janela Miller Maravilla Navas. Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. Present. Thank you, Edith. Ismael Ernesto Boyat Solis. Not here yet. Let me see. Jorge Ernesto Hernandez Durán. Present teacher. 
Thank you, Jorge Mayra Elizabeth Lazo Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafael Alejandro Morales Avila. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa Rodríguez. Present. Thank you, Sandra Ives Mendoza. Sara Rachel Salazar de Cosme. And uh, Jancy Andrea Solorta no Castro. Present teacher. Mama, mama, mia. Okay. There are there are a few people missing, but that's that's okay. It's normal. Anna, welcome. Thank you for joining today's session. Let me update it here. Oops. Thank you. Bye. Okay. I think we're ready. Uh all right. We're gonna start. We're gonna start by reviewing, reviewing the use of can and could, and uh, just for a few minutes, we will start by doing this activity. Look at the activity. I am sharing. I am sharing a, a picture with you guys. Do you see the picture? Yes, the chess. Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you for. Letting me know about it. Uh, we're going to read the short paragraph. It's quite simple and easy. It's not really complicated. And then it says, answer these questions according to the text. Okay, we got one question, two questions. And we have to mention here uh, some abilities that are in the past and some abilities that are in the present. Okay, people, let's begin. Uh, let's read it. Let's see, let's see. Oh, wait. Do you remember, do you remember how or in which way we use can and could? Do you remember how we use can and could? People can yes. and could? Yes, yes, I think. I remember, I remember that. Okay, one of the, one of the, uh, the most common use of can and could are, or is, the ability part. We can mention abilities in the past and abilities in the present. All right. Let's see. Go ahead, people. I'm going to give you two minutes to read and answer the questions. Teacher, yes. Teacher, sorry. Uh, can you can can you uh zoom uh agrandarlo más in your in your screen? Okay. How do you say uh agrandar or darle zoom? Zoom 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 in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Okay. Can you zoom in the picture? Al revés sería zoom out, lo contrario, zoom out. Okay. Okay, okay. Ready? Not yet, teacher. Okay. We should we should buy a fan, people. Everybody, we should get a fan. 
Uh, do we have to do the part B too? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay, right. okay. Boom, boom. Okay, I think I think you guys are ready. Listos? Yes. 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 All right. Uh, let me see. Let me choose a person. Uh, that person is Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Read, please. Thank you. Okay, thank you. My name is Samira Brown. I am 70. I am an old being woman. When I was young, I could do many things. I could run, I could jump, I could practice this brown gym and play tennis. Now I can't do all that because I am very old, but I can read books, visit many places, and watch interesting programs on TV, and I'm very happy. Last weekend, I went to the theater with some friends. It was fantastic. Okay, thank you. Thank you for reading. Let me read again. People, if you have any questions about the vocabulary, let me know. My friend is Samir Brown. I am 70. I am an old thing woman. When I was young, I could do many things. I could run, I could jump, I could practice the gym and play tennis. Now I can't uh, do all that because I am very old. But I can read books, visit many places and watch interesting programs on TV. And I am very happy. Last weekend, I went to the theater with some friends. It was fantastic. Okay, very good. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? No, we're good. There are some mistakes with the grammatic. Which one? Uh, for example, practice is with the letter C. In the theater, I think the R is in the in the at the end. No, it is correct. It's correct. Three, yeah, three, four, yeah, three. Four. Yes, it is correct. <laughs> okay. Very surprising. Muy sorpresivo, verdad? Pero sí. No es, no es inglés americano. What? It's, it's not. It's not. This... It's not like uh. It's not North American English. It's England. Yes, exactly. It's British. Yes. yes. Hay muchos verbos o palabras que terminan con C, pero en Inglaterra es con S. Yes. Uh, let me give you some examples. Realize. Real, I guess realize. Realize. The 
se, se corrigió. La reenvié. Realize. Ese es darse cuenta. Darse cuenta. Real, con Z. Ahí en, en Inglaterra es con S. Organ, organize es con Z. Ahí en Inglaterra es con, con S. Yes. yes, yes, of course. Y Peter, sí, así está correcto. Okay. En, yeah. en americano es al okay, revés. Ok, teacher. Pues. Y pro, programs, also programs, is no lleva esa, esa E. Okay. Programs. So let's, oh, pero aquí sí. Igual que last weekend no lleva un... In the un, last weekend. Uh -huh. So, it, it, don't worry, okay? Everything is correct. <laughs> yes. All right. How old is Samir Brown, people? How old is this woman? It's 70 years old. He has 17. She's, she's 70, right? She's 70 years old. The next one says, can she jump? Can no. she jump? No, no, she can't. When she, when, when she was a young, yes, uh, she could. I think in, I think she jump. can jump right now. She can. It is possible, yes. but that would be like her last jump. Okay, but no. And according to the text, no. Not anymore, right? She could. She could jump. Now she can't because she's very no, old. No, she can't. Yes. Ability in the past. Can you mention the abilities in the past? Could run. She could run. Uh -huh. It's over here. Look, I could run. Okay, she could run. What else? Another one? She could jump. Uh -huh. She could jump, exactly. She could practice gym and play tennis. I'm sorry? Oh, yes. She could practice gym and play tennis. Yes. What else? No, no more, right? What about ability in the present? In the present, she reads a book. Mm -hmm. she, she, can, can she can read, read books. She can she read can, books. She can read books. Uh -huh. What else? It's here, look. She can play and watch interesting programs. She can, she can visit many places and she can watch interesting programs on TV. Excuse me. On TV. Okay, we got it, we got it, yes. We got it. Thank you everyone for your participation. Oh, uh, yes. Let me see, let me close this window. I don't want it. Yeah. Oh, bring, bring in the, the British and American difference. Uh, hay diferencias no solo en el, en, en el deletreo, porque escribimos el deletreo con la S y que cambia la, la letra uh, de posición. Eso es deletreo. También hay en pronunciación, diferencias en pronunciación, en expresiones y en vocabulario. One example, uh, one clear example is lift. ¿Saben qué es lift? Lo he colocado en el chat. No? Levantar. Okay, como verbo es levantar. As a verb, it is when you lift an object. Pero como, como, como uh, sustantivo es elevador. Elevador, okay. That is, that is in British, ele uh, lift. Americans say elevator. Elevator, lift. And uh, in the U.S., we say apartment. And uh, in England, we say flat. In the US, we say cookie, right? In England, we say biscuit. So they have a different vocabulary as well. Yes. All right, very good people. Let me tell you what we will be studying today and that is the simple past. Do you have any questions or any problems when it comes to past? The past form of the verbs. Do you know what simple past is? ¿Saben qué es pasado simple? Yes. No. Simple past. Okay. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how 
how we use simple past and how we can, you know, uh, work with it. Look, today, today is class number 11 and uh, we're gonna start, we're gonna start with unit number three, which is about customer service. Customer service, that is unit number three all about. The objective for today is this one. I will be able to process and understand customers' opinions about a product or service they received. I will be able to process and understand customers' opinions about a product or service they received. Okay, that's what we will be learning today. Okay, let's begin. Ask a partner. Why do customers call? That's the first question, everyone. Why do customers call? Why do people call you? Why do clients, why do customers call you? That's the question. Second question, how can you help them? How can you help them? And uh, yep, that's very much it. Write a list of ideas. Let's see. Well, we're going to... Uh, do some uh, speaking and brainstorming. What did I do? Okay, okay. Let's see, do you see the whiteboard? Okay. Yes. Let's let's answer. Thank you, thank you. Let's answer the quest. These questions right here. Give me your ideas, people. Let's do let's do the brainstorming right now. It says there, write a list of ideas. Can you can you tell me or can you mention reasons reasons why customers call you, and can you mention how you can help them? Vamos a dividirlo. Pongamos acá en un lado. Yes. Over here, we're gonna do the customer. Why do customers call people? Tell me. In my case, because they have a problem. Okay, they call when they have a problem. Okay, they call when they have a problem, yes. What else, Kemas? What else can you say? They <clears throat> they call when they uh, want to know an information or a product. Want to, to get know information about uh, a product product. Oh, a a product. Uh, information, right? Information. Yes. Okay. Get Get information, right? Yeah. Okay. 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 Very good. What else? Que mas? What else can you say? Um, and for example, when they want a contract to, I don't know, any, any, uh, how do you say, uh, uh, plazos? Una letra plazo de un producto. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, eh, eso sería on, on credit. Sería on credit. On credit, yes. Yes, it's correct. When they, uh, uh, they, uh, when they are in... contracting. They call when mm -hmm. contracting a, a, a credit. Yes. Okay. Is correct? No. A uh, kind of. When they want a product. Oh, when they want a product. On credit. On credit. On credit. Okay. Okay. Uh, for platos, okay. For pago sería on credit. Yes. Yes. All right. What else? ¿Qué más? What else can you say, people? In my case, um... For a question about the product. Okay, to ask, to ask questions. About the product. Okay, to ask questions about the product. Perfect. 
Do you have more examples, people, or more reasons? In my case, when because the customer needs a report. Needs a report, right? Yes. Okay, needs a report. Yes. What else? Can you mention another one? Uh, when they need uh, technical assistance. Okay, what they call when they, they need. When they need. <laughs> assistance is with double S, right? Or oh, see it from a Assistance. I'm filling my job with these ideas, teacher. Do you have more ideas? I feel in my job with these ideas. <laughs> okay. I understand. Like you 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 can relate. You can relate. Yeah. Let me see I a message from you. When they need advertising services. Okay, when they need advertising services, when they need this is the ideas for the customer service in the call, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. This is a idea, idea for the customer service in the call. Yes, when the customers when the customers call you, yes. And the, the reason why, the reason why they put they call you. Yes. Okay. Okay, the when they sample, need to Tell me. For example, teacher, uh when they uh when they need a account, a account status. Okay, when they need. Some... When they need, the, uh, uh, yeah, some account status. Funding status. Status. It's like in, in Spanish, estado de cuenta. Status. Yes. Okay. okay. Okay, muy bien, we got it. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, let's continue with how, how you can assist these people. How do you assist these people? Tell me. Or how do you help them? What do you do? What do you offer? What do you tell them? Um, in my case, the most of the people call me because they have problems with a software so i help i help them sh um, show them showing them how software works how the software work right software okay works yes I help them uh, give them a better work. There you go. I help them by showing them how the software works. Okay, that's a good one. Do you have more people? Um, for example, uh, I I invite them to to visit to visit the 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 la tienda the store the store yes mm, lo dijo mejor en esto a branch será mejor branch es como la okay. sucursal oh, okay es una sucursal okay. all right mm -hmm. well, I guess it's a store no problem okay I okay. invite them to visit the branch okay do you have more I think in my case into I into insisting order fast. I'm sorry, come again. Uh, into I into insisting fast order order o pedido In, ingresando rápido el pedido. No sé. <laughs> Can you write it in the chat?
Okay. While Sara is doing that, can you mention more examples, people? Or more, more, yeah, yeah, more, more ideas on how you help them. The other example, teacher, I organize, I organize a meet, I, I, I meet with, with them, uh, meeting the business meeting. Business as a best, right? Business, Uzi. Tell me, guys. I don't know. Business. The couple S after after you after you. Double S, really? Are you sure? I don't know. Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, uh yes. The other way I was kind of <laughs> <laughs> I always get confused. Like business, I know a business, but the spelling is different. Teacher, teacher, sorry. Uh, uh, organize is is incorrect. Is is incorrect. Arrange mm. is, is the same. No. No, it's not the same because organize is when you have the plan, and you have everything. You have the tools. You have the place, and you organize the meeting. But arrange is como uh, pre uh como agendarla, prepararla. <laughs> Uh, ¿Cómo que decirle? Ah, ¿Cómo decirle? Es que es, es preparar, preparativos, ¿cómo prepararla? Yes, I, yes, I got it. I have, it, uh, it, it, I, it. I have the other idea, teacher. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, and my job generally is to apply the protocol, the first contact resolution give uh, different options for the for the clients this is a little idea to apply a first contact resolution it is short sentence for right there i apply i'm sorry the first contact resolution All right, let me see what Sarah sent to the chat. Let me see, sending information and uh, quickly enter an order. Like I quickly enter the uh, order into the system. There you go, Alistria. I quickly entered the order into the system, yes. Okay, and people, well, you know your place, you know you, where you work, and you know maybe you have uh, the script, I don't know. But we have many, many ways in which we can assist or help our customers or clients. Let me stop sharing here, and uh, let me continue, or let's continue with the part number two. Yes, it says there, listen to you, to you, to the teacher, read the word and repeat. Write what, uh, what the customers, what? That's not a question. Okay. Okay, write what customers and companies representatives do. Dice ahí, escucha al maestro decir las palabras, repetirlas, perdón. Y luego dice escribir lo que los clientes y los representantes de la compañía hacen. Let me help you repeat the 12 words. There are 12 words. Uh, number one, pick up the phone, understand, explain, complain, help, request information, get prices, provide one's information, assist, buy, call, and receive. Do you have any questions about these verbs or this vocabulary? What is complain? Complain. Complain is when you don't like something or when you are not satisfied and you go to the company or you call them and you're like, Andrew, hey, I don't like the product because this is the, I have this problem, this problem, this problem. Okay, how is it? Do you want a different case right. uh, mm -hmm. or different problems for the resolution of customer or different phrases? I'm sorry. 
Do you want a different problems uh, for the resolution and the different customers or different sentences using this this works? No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's just the same. We're gonna use the same vocabulary down here. It's, we're going to use the same vocabulary. Can I use different vocabulary and a part of the this works? Yes, if you want to, it is possible, no problem. Yeah, yes. okay. It's better for you, yes. Okay, more questions? No, we're good? Okay, perfect. Remember, assist is or means help. Help, assist. All right. Yeah. Now, we're going to write down here in the customer parts, in the customer parts, we're going to write six actions or uh, six activities this person does. And we're going to write on the other side, we're going to write six activities that the company's representative does. Okay. Ahora aquí. Uh, let's read again from 1 to 12. Leamos una vez más desde la 1 a la 12. Y veamos qué es lo que hacen los clientes y qué hace un representante de una compañía. Let's go, people. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Un par de minutos. Let's go. Let's go. In the meantime, I'm going to drink some water. Are you guys ready? I think I finished, teacher. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, let's see. People, let's start. Let's begin. I need you to tell me what the customers do. Mention the activities or the actions that the customers do. I am going to write them down. Tell me. Uh, 
Complain, okay. Help. Complain, what else? Help. Help, Explain. are you sure? No, it's a request, request for mention. I don't know, I don't think so. Request information, do you have? Customer. Request information, no. Get price. Okay, get prices, prices. Price. Yes, get prices, yes. What else? Call. Okay, call, exactly. What else? Call. Buy. Buy. Okay, buy, exactly. Call, buy. What else? Assistant. Assistant. I think assist is here. Uh, what else? Complain? Yeah, we already got it. I think explain is for customer. Okay, explain. Right. Understand. Understand? No. Provide provide one's information. Yes, provide, provide one's information, one's yes. Information, yes. I'm sorry? Provide one's info or information, okay? No cabe. Ese once que está ahí con esa apóstrofe y ese se puede sustituir con your, my, his, or her. For example, provide your information. Okay? Yes. Let's continue with the company's representative. Tell me. Pick up the phone. Okay, the first one, pick up the phone. Understand. Okay, understand. What? Okay. Understand. Help. Listen to the customer. Okay, listen to the customer. That can be an extra one. Oh, it is an extra one. Listen. Mm -hmm. mm, pick up. Yeah. yeah. This is the action, but for one. Okay, listen to the customer. Exactly, exactly. What else, people? Help. Help. Yes, help. Also, assist. It's the same, assist. What else? Request information. Request information. Okay, request information. And one more. Yes, receive. But do you think receive is, is part of the customer's, I mean, company's representative? Receive. Leave, leave a report. Leave a report. Mm. Okay. Uh, here we can say receive okay. we did we we got it we got it thank you for your participation excellent let's continue people there is a lot to do today or a lot to work on today what okay yes let's continue with part number three i think part number three is about the paragraph for the text the, the information above Choose the department where you work in and a friend. Explain to a partner what activities you do there. Okay, what do customers call for and what was the last call you had about? Yes. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna be talking about this the second question. The first question was already answered. We already talked about this. On the part number one, acá está, la misma que está aquí arriba, why do customers call? We already discussed this one, so we're going to discuss the second one only. And the second one says, what was the last call you had about? What was the last call you had about? Tell me, guys. 
Do you have this experience? Was it an angry person? Was it a happy person? <laughs> Tell me. Happy person. Can you tell me what it was about? Like the second one? What the conversation what the conversation or the, the call was about? In my case, the last call I had it was about a software problem. They need help. And did you solve it? Yes. <laughs> Wow, excellent. Thank you, this is Melanie. Good attention and quality. Yes, yes. We have to give uh, or provide good attention. All right. Uh, people, what else? Que mas? The last phone call you uh, had. In my case, I remember when I was uh, working uh, a store, I remember the customer called, called me about uh, account status. Oh, okay. Account status, all right. Yes. Okay, fantastic, fantastic, yes. In my case, teacher, mm -hmm. in my last call, I called the customer because your um, your order, your order uh, so many products don't have market, in the market. Uh, mm -hmm. But I call the customer for 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 change different products in your order. Okay, that's it. Her, her order or his order? Her order because oh. he is a, a woman. Okay, her order then. All right, all right. I could tell you my experience, but I don't have any. <laughs> I I don't receive a phone call when I work, so. Yeah. Yeah, she was she was very angry because uh, wow. her her order her orders have uh two hours two hours activated, but um I call it but uh, for for a change different products because the customer don't have these products. Uh, and, uh, sorry, sorry, later for the change, but uh, I cannot help you anymore or. What, what, what? Eh, that's, it's a, in Spanish, I said it. Gaje del oficio. Jesus. Uh, you know, uh, I don't remember five or six or seven years ago, my plan was to work at a call center. Yes. And uh, I actually went over there. I went to Santa Tecla, I think. Uh, I think I was over there for an interview. Yes. And uh, I did not like it. Yes, I did not like it. Too many, too many angry people. No way. Too many angry people. I don't like angry people. I'm happy. I don't want to be angry. <laughs> yes. Okay, people. Excellent. Thank you for your participation. Now we're going to get to the important part. And that is, or the, yeah, pretty much what we're going to do. Let me show you. Wait, somebody share something. Transparency, is it? exactly, transparency. Okay, veamos. Let's start. Uh, we already did this part, we, do, we did this part as well. All right, here. We're gonna start, we're gonna start talking about the simple past. El pasado simple, simple past. All right, let me tell you what we use it for. We use simple past to express actions that are completely finished. Okay, to express actions that are completely in the past. These actions don't exist in the present. Okay, es para expresar acciones que están terminadas. Okay, para eso usamos el pasado simple. And there are two types of past. Hay dos tipos de pasado, o, o más bien dos. How, how can I tell you? Yeah, pretty much. We have a, a simple past with the verb be. Do you know what the verb be is? The verb be? Yeah. 
is is was was and where okay yes, yes. was and where exactly 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 very good very good all right in in the present the verb be has three forms am um, is are yes three yeah in the past form in the past form we shorten the number uh to two only and that will be only was and were only two auxiliaries in the past form acá están look excuse me let me show you this part this part is easy esta parte es muy sencilla la lo que sigue después un poco más 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 uh, complejo digamos past of b B, we got am um, is are in the present, and we use was and were in the past form. En el pasado usamos was que era, que significa era o estaba, era o estaba. Lo mismo where, era o estaba, dependiendo de la persona. Okay. Uh, we use were with, uh, for are. Se usa el were for are, y se usa el was for am um, y también por is. Examples or here I was, you were, she was, he was, it was, you were, we were separado, and they were. Yes. Yo estaba o yo era, tú eras o tú estabas o usted era usted estaba, ella era ella estaba, etc. Yes. We do not use contractions. No se usan las contracciones acá. No se puede. Okay. We don't use contractions. Ok, yes. And that's how they go. Así es como va. Ahora, veamos cómo se usa ese was y ese were en pasado. Here we go. Oh, wait. Veamos si, si ustedes lo, lo, lo manejan más o menos. Can anyone give me an example with was or were? Anyone. An example with was or were. Was or were. They were... They were in the stadium yesterday. Okay, they were in the stadium yesterday. Yes, yes. Okay, muy bien, excellent. That's it, only one example, it's fine. They were in the stadium yesterday, and that was, that was B plus place or location. Here we go. Se usa mayormente, in most of the cases, we use the verb B in the past form with a description. Con una descripción o un adjetivo y un lugar o una ubicación. Okay. For example, look. A description, I was happy. Yo estaba feliz. Yo estaba feliz. O yo era feliz. Both are correct. I was happy. That's a description. She was confused. Ella estaba confundida. She was confused. An adjective, un adjetivo. A place, un lugar o una ubicación. She was, sorry, he was in the garage. Él estaba en el garaje. Yes, all right. Básicamente así como se usa ese was y ese were. También se usa lo que le mandé al chat. Ahí lo he colocado en este momento. If you go, you can see it there. Okay. Uh, también se usa para edad, age, place of origin. Oh, age, for example, I was... 20 years old, uh, I don't know when, like like five years ago. Place of origin, I was I was from San Salvador, I was from uh, Guatemala, I was from etc. Reaction to the temperature or weather, temperatura o el clima, I was hot yesterday. I was cold in the morning, etc. Pero mayormente se usa con una descripción o un adjetivo y lo, lo, un lugar, ubicación. SB. No usamos, no usamos el, el was y el were con otros verbos. Ok. Uh, this, this is very common. Like, para decir yo jugué, jugué ayer, uh, he visto, me, I have seen many, many people making this mistake. I was played yesterday. Listen. I was played yesterday. I was played yesterday. Eh, comentarles que ese be, el be, con los verbos son otra cosa. El be se puede, se puede sostener por sí mismo. Okay, as you can see. 
So I told you, I told you there are two, there are two uh, past forms in English, the past form with the verb be and the past form with the verbs. Right now we're working with the verb, with the verb be on. The verb be is wasn't work. Okay. People, do you have any questions? Eh, no, teacher, solamente creo que le entendía en la parte que usted decía que sin importar también se puede utilizar el, su ejemplo. I was play. También se puede utilizar pasando el verbo mismo directamente a pasado. I was play. Oh, no. Eso, eso creo que yo quería llegar a ese punto. Eso lo puse. Exacto. I was play. I was play soccer, pongámosle ahí. Como queriendo decir jugué fútbol. Ok, muy bien. Si yo digo was en play, ahí hay una, una, una lucha teacher, entre, lo, entre los verbos. Yes. When I finish. Was... Sorry, sorry, teacher. Uh, I, I don't know it's correct. Uh, uh, when I finish the, the action, it's, uh, we, we can use the, the verb play. Yes, exactly. Yeah. When the action is in the past form. Yes. Uh, yes. When I finish, when I finish the the, the action. Yes, we're gonna get right. we're gonna get to that part. Yes, llegaremos a esa parte. No se preocupe. <laughs> I was telling you, I was telling you that we have a problem here. Tenemos un problema acá. Why? What is the problem, teacher? Well, no se puede usar el was con el play. No se pueden poner juntos porque son dos verbos diferentes. Está el was como verbo. En este caso, que yo era o yo estaba. Y luego jugar y luego fútbol. Yo era jugar fútbol, makes no sense. O yo estaba a jugar fútbol, makes no sense. Ahora, si yo lo cambio acá y pongo playing, I was playing soccer, yo estaba jugando fútbol, si está correcto, pero no es pasado. Okay, no es pasado. Entonces, vamos a decir solamente, I was, yo estaba, y una descripción. I was uh, tired. Estaba cansado. Cansado. Yes. I was... Sad, estaba triste. Okay. I was in the, how do you say the, where do you play? In jail. In the jail? Cárcel, estaba ahí. No, teacher, no, teacher. <laughs> in the field, en la cancha. Yes, teacher. Okay, in, the in the field, I'm sorry. Iba a decir, así se estaba presa. Está bueno, usted no se preocupe. Normal ahora en Salvador. <ríe> it's, it's normal. Ok. Entonces, como les comentaba, no se puede poner I was, como yo jugaba. Sino que en ese caso decimos I played soccer. Jugué fútbol. I played soccer. Played. Played. Ya es otra cosa, ok. No es, no es con el verbo be. El verbo be. En pasado es una cosa y el, el verbo play en pasado es otra cosa. Son dos pasados diferentes. Yes. All right. Let me repeat this. We, we use the verb be with descriptions, places, age, temperature or weather, and uh, place of origin. All right. We're going to have some time to practice later. Veremos cómo practicamos luego. Pero que hay que trabajar en esta parte. Ok, ahora, dejemos de un lado, no, dejemos mejor, porque aún hay tiempo, quiero ver, let me see how much time we, we have, yes, we have a lot of time. Ok, people, let's practice with the verb be, acá practiquemos un rato. Can you give me examples? Estamos solo en afirmativo. Ok, tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to see the negative form. Can you guys give me some examples with was or were? Go, go everyone. Uh, I was watch the horror movie yesterday. Sorry? I was watch horror movie yesterday. We were in the alley. Es lo que, es lo que decíamos, que recordemos. I watch. En... Exactly, exactly, yes. Ah, ya estamos so, usando entonces el verbo en pasado. So, so, estamos con el was, con el was y el were, solamente. Por eso, pero estamos utilizando el was y, o ya estamos utilizando los verbos en pasado. No, aún no, Para aún solamente no. decir I watch. Ajá, I was y luego un adjetivo, un adjetivo. For example, teacher, uh, I was. Pau. Go ahead, go ahead, Sandra. Sorry. I was, Sandra. Pau. 
Sal. Sal. Yes. Sal. Okay, I was sad. Estaba triste, dice. Yes. Okay, okay, there you go. Brian dijo, I was washed. That is not correct. No se puede juntar ese was con el verbo en pasado. No se puede. Se podría juntar ese verbo, perdón, el was se puede juntar con otro verbo que lleve ing, que se convierte en pasado continuo. No es pasado simple, sino que continuo. Ya es otra cosa diferente. Okay. No, no usamos el watch con otros verbos en pasado. Okay, el was se usa con adjetivos en pasado y el play ya es otra, otra, otra área en pasado siempre. Ya veremos esa parte. People, continue. I was sad. ¿Qué más? Pues? When, uh, when we were in the party yesterday, yesterday, we enjoyed. Okay, when we were, when we were in the party yesterday, we enjoyed. Okay, the example is fine. Can you continue, guys? I was in the office yesterday. Okay, I was in the office yesterday. Estaba en la oficina ayer. Yes. Okay, muy bien. I was, I was tired yesterday. I was tired yesterday. All right. All right. Can you give me more examples, people? You were tired in the afternoon. Okay, you were tired in the afternoon. Okay, you estaba cansado en la tarde. Yes, yes. What else? They they were in my house. Okay, they were in my house. All right, what else? Hello. We we were play the uno in office in la oficina mm -hmm. dice? No, in the office, yes. Pero in dijo the play, office. dijo play, dijo we were play, no. We ahí, ahí acaba de decir estábamos jugar. Entonces sería we were estábamos jugando. No. Ese es pasado, ese es pasado continuo. Okay. Estamos con pasado simple en este momento, como estaba, estaba cansado, estaba triste, estaba en la oficina, estaba en la tienda. Yes. Ok. I was boy in the story. Mm -hmm. I, boy. No. no. I repeat. No se puede usar otro verbo. El was ya es el verbo. Ok. No se puede usar el, el otro verbo en la parte. Last uh, night, uh, last night, it was a very hot night. Okay. Last night was very hot. Today, it's hot too. Yes. Hot too. <laughs> yes. Okay, Carlos? And I was so happy when my grandmother visited me yesterday. I was so happy when my grandmother, what? Visited, uh, me visitó. Oh, visit. visited, visited me. Yeah, visited, visited me, yes. Visited me. Yesterday. Yesterday, all right. Guys, more examples? Uh, I was working today. I was? Working today. The example is correct, pero no es lo que estamos estudiando. Dijo, dijo, I was walking. Estaba caminando. Sí, sí, está, está correcto, pero no, no es lo que estamos viendo. Es, después del was, use una descripción, un adjetivo. Okay. Like, I was angry. I was uh, sleepy. I was... Uh, I was free day yesterday. I was? Free day. Free day. Día libre yesterday. No. In my mail. No. 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 Sería I had, como tuve. Ah, uh, estaba, no. No es parte de esto. No, que no. Está... Yes. Ok. People, don't worry. Vamos a la, a, lo, a la siguiente parte. Ok. Recordemos, ese que está acá, el past will be, es una cosa diferente. Usamos solamente el was y el ver y el were para expresar el pasado usando adjetivos como triste, cansado, uh, muchas cosas más, ok, delgado, enojado, etcétera. Ahora, 
Vamos a ver acciones como comer, bailar, etc. Let's go. Here. Okay, let me see. It says, dice acá, uh, let me show you what it says. We use a simple past to express actions that are already finished. Look, regular and irregular verbs. Tenemos dos tipos de verbos. En inglés, también en español, por supuesto. Veamos acá. We make, we make the past form of regular verbs by adding D, E, D, I, E, D to the verb. Dice, formamos o hacemos el pasado de... Los vemos regulares agregando la D, la ED o la IED a los verbos. For example, help. Help, helped. Call, called. Listen, listened. Work, worked. All right. Ayudar, bueno, ayudo, ayudé. Llamo, llamé. Escucho, escuché. Trabajo, o trabajo, trabajé. Yes. Okay, that's how it goes. Help, helped, call, called, listen and listened, work, worked. Entonces, para verbos regulares, aquí está. Regular verbs, regular verbs, D, E, D, I, E, D. Acá les explico. La D se agrega solamente, we add, we add D to verbs that end in E. For example, dance. Que termina en E, no es necesario hallar otra E. Ok? No, that's not correct. Solo ponemos la D. Ok? Yes. Dance. Otro, fine. Look, fine. Fine es amonesta, amonestar. Ok? Amonestado, fine. Solo ponemos la, la D al final. Ok? Yes. Uh, ED, la ED es para la mayoría de todos los verbos. Ahora, la IED it's for, es para verbos que terminan en Y más, bueno, consonante más Y. Example, study termina en D y e Y. Tenemos la D que es la consonante y la Y que es la otra consonante. En ese caso, borramos la Y y agregamos IED. Study. Ok, for the past one. Yes, those are the rules. Yes. Let me repeat the rules. If the verb, if the verb ends in E, a dance, for example, we're going to add D only. Solo agregamos la D. Así como lo puedo poner entre comillas para que veamos. Okay, only the D. Uh, let me see another verb. Caminar, walk. In this case, walked. And uh, carry, que es cargar o llevar, cargar o llevar. Borramos la Y, como les comentaba, y agregamos I, E, D. Carry. Ok. Y así es como formamos el pasado con verbos regulares. Let me give you some examples. Look, Carlos helped his boss with the task. Carlos ayudó al jefe con la tarea. Celia called her clients in the morning. Luisa, eh, no, Luis, sorry. Luis and Tony listened to the pastor and Mauricio worked over time. Do you have any questions about the regular verbs? Teacher, teacher I, have, I have a question about the pronunciation. Yes, ask me. For example, Luisa and Tony, listen. How, how do you pronounce that word, listen? That, that goes with T, with T at the end. Listen. 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 The same happens with helped, helped. Like T. T. In the case of solo acá, solo acá, cold, back on the cold, cold. The, the cold and then we have helped listened worked yes danced uh walked carried as the con carried yes. mm -hmm. okay yes uh okay. in this case you need to buscar este como se llama how can i tell you 
buscar los sonidos en el pasado. Yes. Para que vean cuál, cuál va con, con, con D, cuál va con, con, con T, y cuál lleva una, una sílaba extra. Por ejemplo, el verbo querer o desear, que es want, lleva una sílaba extra. En este caso es wanted, wanted, wanted. O wanted, wanted. Yes. Solo hay tres, tres formas de pronunciar. Con D, D, con la T, T y con esa que es una extra sílaba. Yes. All right. More okay, questions? Teacher. More, more questions, people? It's clear for me, teacher. All right. Excellent. Okay, muy bien. Let's continue with the difficult parts. Yes, the difficult parts or the challenging part. That part is irregular verbs. Change the form. Aquí se pone complicado porque el pasado y el presente son diferentes. No, son, no van con, con la D o con la ED, que es mucho más sencillo hacer el pasado. But in this case, it's not the same. Look, we make the past form of irregular verbs by changing the form completely. Formamos el pasado de irregular, dice... Cambiando la forma completamente. Example, eat. Eat, right? I eat. Yo como, I eat. Eight is the past form. El pasado es eight. Eight. Eat, eight. All right? Eight, comí. I ate. Yo comí. I ate lasagna last night. Disgusting. <laughs> okay. Take es tomar. Okay, agarrar, llevar, etc. Take, take. The past form of take is took. Took. Okay, took. That's the past form of take. Took, tomé, agarré. Yes. O llevé. Give. Give is dar o regalar. Give. All right, the past form of give is gave. Gave. I gave. Uh, a candy yesterday. I gave, I don't know, some piece of advice. Go, go is ir. All right, go, ir, go. The past form of go is went, went. Yes. I went to the theater. I went to the theater last weekend. Examples. Atilio ate cake at the party. Wendy and Jancy took medicine. Claudia gave a car to her father and Ruben went to the orphanage. Do you have any questions about irregular verbs? It's clear for me, teacher. Any question? No questions? Okay. Okay, muy bien. Recordemos, verbos regulares se, se conocen en pasado con la D, la ED o la IED. Verbos irregulares hay que saber o memorizar el pasado. Así de sencillo. Okay. Pr eh, prácticamente los irregulares cambian por completo su, su estructura. Exactamente, cambia su deletreo, su forma en pasado. Así. Yes, exactly. Yes. And that is difficult. Yes. Yes. Me preguntan, y profe, ¿cómo podemos diferenciarlos? ¿Cómo saber cuál es irregular, cuál es regular? People, fácil, memorícenlo. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. There is no other way. Son un montón, no teacher. <laughs> There is no other way. Ese es uno de mis principales problemas. <laughs> No Podría hablarlo bien, pero a veces voy a salir con I give it them. Por ejemplo. Iba a decir eh, eat, it, eat it en pasado. Eat it. <risa> right. eat it. Sí, sí. Pero vamos a ver aquí qué más hay. All right. We're going to do this. Vamos a ver. Vamos a irnos a. Vamos a regresar acá. Ok. Muy bien. Uh, let me see. What time is it? Can you give me a list 
unos más de ambos, uh, regulares, tipo. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry. No. I need, I need more verbs in the past. Regular. Watched. Lived. Um, lived, okay. Lived. What else? Walk. Walked. Walk. Walked. ¿Qué más? What else? What about study? Cried. Fly. 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 Learn. Right. Right. Okay. Demos allí. Pero me. Okay. Speak. Estamos con. Customer. Okay. That's all. Vamos a ver. I need I need you guys to give me some examples with the verbs that I have in red or the verbs I have here. Lo que están acá en el en el en la diapositiva o los que están en rojo. Go ahead. Give me one. Give me one. We're working in the affirmative form. Let me let me start. Let me. Yo inicio. Yo inicio. Yo inicio. I ate people. I ate fish yesterday. Can you give me one example? Regular, regular, regulares, solamente. I walked, uh, I walked long distance from my job. Okay, I walked a long distance from my job. Yes. Okay, walked, walked. Continue. I lived in Soyapango last year. Wow. How did you survive? <laughs> ¿Cómo sobrevivió? <laughs> yes. Me robó la palabra. How did you survive? <laughs> She's a the Soya Bronx. <laughs> I am from Mordor. <laughs> oh no, people, it's it's hard now. Okay, more examples. I watch uh, my favorite TV shows today. Okay, I watched my favorite TV show today. <laughs> really? I walk here um, in the park. Okay, this I, walk, I walked in the park this morning. Yes. For what example, else? I I learned I learned about uh, Monster Mystic yesterday. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. I learned about. Sure. Yes. Tell me, Melanie. I cooked a delicious dinner I for cooked... my family. Okay, I cooked a delicious dinner for my family. Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Example, cooked. Yes. What's the pronunciation? <laughs> cooked. I ate uh, lunch. I ate, okay. I ate lunch. I ate lunch. Se pasó para para otro lado, pero está bien. Yes. All right. <laughs> Guys, do you have more examples? Nobody used the cried. Why? Nobody used the the cried. The Why? Cried. Because we're oh. happy. And yes, nobody nobody used it. I nobody cry used. all the night. <laughs> In English <I> classes. <laughs> I cried last night after the English class. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. cried. I cried today because she broke my heart. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> okay. People, vamos a ver acá. I'm going to give you at least a draw. Thank you, draw. Draw is the past of the right. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yes, you are right. Yeah. Right. 
Okay, there you go. Now let's continue providing examples with the with the irregular verbs. Let's go. People, I haven't heard from uh, from Carlos, Yancy, Raquel, Edith. What happened, people? From Anna, what happened? Teacher, the last the last year I drive to Chalatenango. I drove. Ah, okay. You I drove did. to Chalatenango. Okay, yes. last year. All right. Excellent. People, more examples. I wrote mm -hmm. a letter to my mother yesterday. Liar. <laughs> I slept. <laughs> She slept uh, just two hours yesterday. Okay, she just slept two hours yesterday. Wow, two hours, it's hard to sleep two hours. The next day you're dead, a zombie. <laughs> okay, people, more examples? I've written, I've written a, letter, a letter to my mom the last month. Wrote, I wrote. I wrote. Yes. Okay. I wrote. Wrote. Yes. Okay. I wrote a book and I lost my book. Sad. Okay, people. We're going to continue and I'm going to show you the list. There you go. Let's see. I'm going to show you the list of irregular verbs. Not all of them, some of them. Uh, but the list is here. If you want, I can share this, this list with you. Acá está, observen. Okay. Eso que está acá, this one, this one, you have to, you have to memorize them. I am sorry to say this, but you have to memorize this list. You have, you have no other choice. You have no other options. The only option is to memorize the words. Ok, en sus tres formas, en pasado, en, en infinitivo, en pasado simple y en, y en pasado participio. Ok, yes. Like examples, damos uno, uno más común, uno más, 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 uh, más común. Ok, aquí está, este. Break, romper, quebrar, tiene muchos significados, break. Break, el pasado es broke, pasado participio es broken. Ok. So you have to you have to memorize the three the three forms the three forms. Uh, the verbs in English the verbs in English only have five forms or five conjugations. So hay cinco conjugaciones en inglés no verbos. Okay, acá hay tres. Acá hay tres. Las otras son con ing y con la s. Okay, eso sería todo en inglés. Only five sure. conjugations. Yes. Teacher, could you, uh, could you send us the, the list of the verb? I can do that. I can do that. Yes, no problem. Okay. No problem. Yes. Okay. People, look, this is a list. You have to, you have to memorize it. Yes. This is a list. Oh. I must. Yes. Si, sí, I must. Porque no, no veo algunos acá, no los he visto. Okay. Pero acá está. People, you have to memorize all of this. Una vez sepan estos verbos de memoria, you will have no problems. You will have no problems with the verbs. Okay, look. Acá está lo que, el sonido que, que hablábamos de pasado. Observen. Okay, en este caso agregamos una sílaba extra. Look. Accept. Accepted. 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 Y aquí está la lista de lo que llaman la sílaba extra. Uh, counted, dated, ended, expected, intended, needed, planted, pointed, rented, etc. Luego tenemos acá con la, la T, asked, cooked, danced, dressed, y lo que se pronuncia con D abajo, like over here, look, the D sound, answered, arrived, belonged, cleaned, etc. Okay. If you want, I can send this list to you people. 
this way you can you can look at it yes yes but what i want to show you is this lo que les quiero mostrar es esto que está acá no sé si lo pueden ver se mira un poquito borroso se escucha borroso <laughs> okay dice irregular verbs déjenme decirles que afortunadamente los verbos irregulares tienen, tienen patrones tienen patrones, me refiero a que hay verbos que son similares en su forma if you don't believe me let's, let's see it by ourselves veámoslo acá pongamos el verbo shake shake y pongamos solamente esos dos pongamos acá abajo pongamos speak and uh, break. Ok. Si pueden ver, al principio tenemos shake, que termina en ake, y take, que termina en ake también. Son patrones. Ok. Why are they called patterns? Because the past form and the past participle form are similar. Very, very similar. Look, shook is the past form. Here, the past form is Look, lo mismo, lo mismo, right? Like, like, you know, the pattern. Y el pasado participio acá es uh, shaken. And over here is shaken. Okay. Pattern, pattern. Speak. The past form is spoke. The past form of break is broke. The same pattern. Past participle of break is broken. And the past participle of speak is spoken. Okay. Yes. Verbo diferente, pero con un patrón similar o igual. Okay. Con vocales, con consonantes, etc. Ahora, veamos el listado completo. Let's take a look. Okay. Ahora que hemos aprendido que es un, un patrón, veamos los patrones. Iniciamos con este que está. Let's this one, this one. Look. Art. Art, dice ahí. Let me see. No los veo a ustedes. Me han perdido. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Uh, tenemos acá art, que termina en, en uh, U-G-H-T. Think, bring, buy, fight, catch. Look, think, thought, thought. Esa u g h, -H t En ambas. Bueno, en todas. Bring, brought, brought, buy, bought, bought, fight, fought, fought, and catch, caught, and caught. Entonces, como ven acá, ambos en pasado y pasado participio llevan el mismo patrón, el que terminan en U-G-H-T. Yes. Okay. Let's go with the green one over here. Es el que le mostraba, observen. Yes, the green one. Speak, spoke, spoken, wake, walk, walking, break, broke, broken, still, stole, stolen, write, wrote, written, dry, drove, driven. Right, we got it there. Look, ahí está, como cambia. En, la, en pasado es con O y en pasado participio es con EN al final. All right. Blue part up here, look. La A o la I cambia a... Well, you can, you can see it by yourselves. Drink, drank, drunk, run, rang, run, sing, sang, sung, sink, sank, sunk, swim, swam, and swam. Yes. More patterns, the same word. Las que son lo mismo, aquí están, observen. Son lo mismo. The same word, cost, pasado es cost, lo mismo. Shot, shot, put, put, cut, cut, set, set. Bet, bet, and let. Es lo mismo let en pasado también. Uh, look, more, more verbs. Consonant T. Cambian a T. Solamente le ponemos la T al final. Borramos una consonant. Y le ponemos la T. Send, sent, sent. Build, built, built. Deal, dealt, dealt. Spend, spent, spent. Learn, learned. Sorry, learned, learned. También se puede, eso se fue que lo han puesto, no lo han colocado acá. También se puede así. Uh, 
mean meant meant fell. This is feel feel. That's fell. Next up, feel felt felt, and we have keep kept kept. Ahora vamos acá. Ahora los que son irregulares. Dice acá también. Let's continue. Uh, come came come. Say said said. Eight, uh, sorry, eat, eight, eaten, be, was, been, have, had, had, see, so, seen, make, made, and made. Guys, do you have any questions about this list? Preguntas sobre este listado? Teacher, can you share the, this image? That, that image. Yes, I can do that. People, more questions or questions? No, okay, fantastic. Let's continue working on, hold on. Okay, let's continue. Vamos a ver. How to use the past of be and simple past affirmative. Tomorrow we will continue with the negative form. Uh, let me see. Let me choose a person to read. Melanie, read this part, please. Yes. Melanie? Um, it was a great experience. The agent was very helpful. You were mm -hmm. on our page. We were excited about service. Okay, it was it was a great experience. The agent was very helpful. You were on our page, and we were excited about about the service. Excited, yes. Thank you for reading. Let's continue. Let me see, Jancy. Hi, Jancy. Or let's see, Eliezer, are you there? Yes, teacher. Help us, please. Acá, esta parte de Okay. I gave my account information. He called yesterday at night. The program worker will. They bought, uh, they bought that product last week. Thank you, Carlos, for reading. I gave my account information. I Sorry, he called yesterday at night. The program worked well and they bought that product last week. Let's continue everyone with the part number five. It says, write the sentences with the words provided using the past of be or simple past. People, let's do this. Let's work on part number five. Trabajemos en la parte cinco. I'm going to give you from three to four minutes. Yes, three to four minutes. Let's go. Oh, let me see. Okay. Trabajemos en esa parte. Let's go. I'm going to share the picture with you guys. Ya compartieron la, el PDF. Thank you, Melanie, for sharing it. Acá les comparto la imagen de los patrones.
I just shared the picture with you guys. I got a teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Do I see my soul where it is a star? If you have any questions, let me know. I am here. Give me a second, people. I'll be right back.
Have you finished, people? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, let's begin. Let's begin. Number one, who can read number one? Anyone? Okay, let me start or let's begin. Raquel Elizabeth, lea number one, read number one. I be proud. Interested. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat, please? I be proud interested. No. El B no va. No es B que se pone. I was. Ajá, there you go. I was probably interested. No, estaba, estaba interesado yeah. o interesada. Interested. I was interested. I was interested. Como que falta algo acá. In the product. In the product. Okay, thank you can for be, sharing. Teacher, can Hello? be, I was interested. Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, it can be. I was interested in uh, this problem. Come on, repeat, please. I was interested in this problem. Oh, I was. I was this. interested in this product. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Carlos Eliezer, read the second one. What's that? Okay, Edith, can you read it, Edith? Me teacher. <laughs> thank you, thank you, yes. You were boy the eating the assembly. So you repeat it? You were. No, where no one. You vote the and last, last okay. December. You vote? Mm -hmm. Yes. You Recordemos. The... Recordemos, si estamos en pasado y vemos un verbo, no va el was y el were. El was y el were se usa solamente cuando hay un adjetivo o un lugar. El adjetivo es interesado acá arriba. Ok. Y abajo no hay ningún adjetivo. No podemos decir yo estaba a comprar. No, right. O yo estaba a compré. So he says, uh, you bought, excuse me. Okay, tú compraste, usted compró. You bought? You bought the item last December. Okay, you bought the item last December. Okay, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Let's continue. Let me see for here, read number three. Me. <clears throat> yes, Jorge, thank you. She flies. She she freed. Mm -hmm. The police. The policies, policies. Oh, Policies. The policies, yes, policies. Políticas, ¿verdad? Exactly, exactly. People, the pronunciation is red. 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 Yes, red. red. Read, read is in the present. It's in the present. Exactly, read. It's in, in the past pronunciation. Word, in the past word, we have the same spelling, el mismo letreo, but the pronunciation is completely different. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can compare okay. that pronunciation with the color, el color rojo, red. Okay. red. Red. 
Yes. Okay. Red, red. Thank you. So she read the policies. Para identificar si es pasado o presente, hay que, hay que tener el contexto. Hay que ver cómo está el contexto para poder saber si es pasado o presente. Yes. All right. Number four. Anyone. Number four. The supervisor give me a discount. Ya está en pasada, dile. <laughs> yes, it's already yes. in place. The supervisor. The, the supervisor the... gave me a oh. discount. Yes, it was in the past one more right? The supervisor gave me a discount. Okay, very good. Yeah, me. Let's continue with number five. They sent contract to my email. Okay, they sent. To my email. Okay, number five. Vamos, yeah. Melanie. Melanie, hello, Melanie. Read number six. Sorry, teacher. Six. He was disappointed. Okay, yeah. He, perfect, perfect. He was. If I'm not mistaken, you will say. Okay, disappointed. You can say disappointed or disappointed. Point. Decepcionado. Okay, he was disappointed. All right. Mm -hmm. People, do you have any questions? No, you don't have any questions? Okay, there is another activity, but we do not have enough time to do that one, which is number six right here. It says, imagine you are, sorry, imagine you call an, uh, an old customer to know about his or her satisfaction about a product or service they got from you. And then it says, switch roles. From what I understand is that we're going to come up with a conversation but we don't have the time to do that right, right now, okay? We're going to change it. We're going to do it like this. We're going to still provide examples. Vamos a dar unos ejemplos, pero serían cuatro, four examples. One example with was, one example with were, one example with regular verb, and one example with irregular verb. And that's how we're gonna wrap it up. Okay. And that will be our wrap. Ra, ra, ra. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excellent. All right, iniciamos. I'm going to give you my own examples too. Let me see, she, she was. I shared my examples through the chat. You can see them.
Tipo, ready? Who is ready? I finished. Okay, go ahead, share, don't worry. Okay. Um, I was very angry with my boss last night. <laughs> you were great at the presentation. I played soccer three years ago. She ate pupusas last night. Me too. Delicious, very, very good pupusas, yes. <laughs> All right, good examples. Thank you, thank you for sharing them. Thank you. Uh, let's continue, yes. Another person that finished already. Uh, me, teacher. Okay. Um, I was the beach on Sunday. They were tired after the play uh, with regular bears. She visited your parents last week. Um, visited, visited. Visited. And regular bears hit off to buy a car. She Pensó. thought. Pensó. Okay, she thought, she thought, okay, about, about buying a car. Ah, okay. Yes, about buying a car. Muy bien. Another person. Let's continue. Thank you, Ana. I Excellent. was a problem with my car the mm -hmm. last week. Mm -hmm. I, I was a problem. Mm. Como yo era un problema. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> no, I changed the sentence. They they work on the last year with their pets. Repeat it. They were here the last year with their pets. Después de work, ¿qué dice? I'm sorry. Here. They were here. Ah, oh, here. Okay, sorry. They were here the last year with their pets. With their pets, okay. Continue. And I ate a sandwich in the morning. Go on. And she loved the flo love the flowers. Okay, she loved the flowers. Okay, thank you, Sandra, for sharing your examples. You did it very well. Let's continue. Another person that already finished. And uh, she was, uh, she was sleepy when her boy, uh, when her boyfriend called her. Mm -mm. Uh, no. no, I mean it is correct. Yes, it is correct, but you said she was sleeping. Estaba durmiendo. No es pasado. Ese es pasado continuo. She was sleep. No, ese es dormir. O ella, ella estaba dormir. She was... ¿Qué quiere decir? ¿Tenía um, sueño? Eh, estaba dormida. Oh, entonces no. Ahí, se, ahí es, sí es she was sleeping. Estaba durmiendo. She was sleeping. Sí, pero no es pasado. Ese es pasado. Ese es pasado continuo. Uh, okay. Usted puede decir she was sleepy. 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 Lo puse en el chat. Sleepy. sleepy. Soñolienta. Sleepy. Okay. She was sleepy when her boyfriend called her. Exactly. They were they were disappointed because the Real Madrid lost at night. And okay. and the regular uh the let me see. Ah, uh, I talked about the history of El Salvador to my father at night, and she drew the she drew a big hurt in the wall yesterday. Okay, all right. Thank you, Carlos, for your examples. Amazing. Let's continue. ¿Qué más? Termino. Hello. 
Ok. Elijo directamente entonces. Let me see. Let me choose a person directly. That person is... Carlos Eliezer. Um, I was angry with my dog. Mm -hmm. We were dancing between yours. And I tried to explain your homework. And... Uh, gave me your case of the course. Mm, la segunda dijo you were uh, o dijo we were dancing creo. Between yours okay. or yours esa, esa. Eh, entre nosotros quería decir. Pero, among, yeah. among us. pero eso no está correcto porque sí está correcto pero no, no es la, lo que estamos viendo. Ahí dijo estábamos bailando. Sí. Ah, sí, usamos, usamos el was que ese estaba o era con un adjetivo es de, de, de descripción yes. ok right. teacher anybody alguien más anybody else no no more ok perfect uh, let me take attendance. Let me take attendance. Vamos a ver. Ana Victoria Galán. Yes, sir. Thank you. Azalia Melanie Portillo. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Brian David Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Orrego. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Carlos Eliezer Dimas. Present teacher. Thank you. Denise Alejandra Zúñiga Aldana. Present. Thanks. Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas. Present teacher. Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. Ismael Ernesto Goyat Solís no estuvo. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo Escobar. Present teacher. Hoy se queda, Mayra. Ok. Sorry. <laughs> ok, vamos a ver. Let's continue. Rafael Alejandro, no. This person, no. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Raquel, uh, yes, Raquel, right. Uh, Sandra Ibeth Mendoza. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Rachel, Sara Rachel. Rachel. Salazar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And Jancy Andrea Solorzano. People, we finished. We finished. We have finished. Thank you very much Good for evening. being here today. Good evening. Good evening. Teacher. See you tomorrow. Good evening. Good night. Good night. Follow, follow. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Yes, bye -bye. Good night bye -bye. teacher. See you Good tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Bye. Bye bye. Uh, bye. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? You sound sick. Mm, a little sick. I have allergy. I have mm, rhinitis. Oh, I am sorry. Ah, horrible. <laughs> okay. It's very cool. Uh, Mayra, we, we have a couple of minutes to clear any of your questions, any of your confusion about the topics that we have studied or about any topic or any question that you might have. So tell mm. me. In this moment, I don't, I don't have question. I think um, more than anything, practice, 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 and learning uh, about the how pronunciation or damped. Okay, okay, I understand that. Uh, have you worked? Have you worked on the platform? Yes, I finished. 
I think. I think. <laughs> Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Very good. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna show you. Where is it? So, alright, teacher. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Ya casi nos iremos, no se preocupe. No problem. No problem. Entonces te voy a dar un pequeño resumen de lo que vimos ese día. Ok. Vimos dos, dos pasados diferentes. Vimos simple past. Simple. Vimos el pasado con el B. Solo con el B. Que se usa was y se usa word. Más. Comúnmente más adjetivos. Adjectives. Let me give you a list of adjectives so you can say a excited, tired, uh, happy, sad, angry, and hungry. Okay. That, those are adjectives. Eso que están ahí son adjetivos. El was y el were en pasado se usan solo con adjetivos. Entre otras cosas, pero comúnmente se usa con adjetivos. No se usa con otros verbos. Ok. Como les comentaba, este es un pasado diferente al pasado de los verbos como, como jugar, comer, etc. Uh, I was. I was. Hungry. Observe. I was hungry quiere decir yo estaba hambriento. Yo estaba hambriento. Ok. Y muchos se confundieron ahora y ponían ejemplos así como este. Ponían esa, eso que está ahí, I was, I was play. Y no se puede decir play porque play es jugar, no, no se puede montar dos verbos en el mismo lugar. Okay. I was tired. Ponle otro, otro verbo acá. Perdona, perdón. Was, he was tired. Él estaba cansado. Y también vimos el simple, pre, simple past. With regular and <laughs> verbs. Regular verbs. Okay, observe it. Regular verbs, we add ED. Agregamos la ED. Ok, la famosa ED. Se agrega la D, también la D y la IED, pero mayormente se agrega la ED en casi todos los verbos. Cold, observe, talk, cook. Casi siempre es la ED que se agrega. Uh, y entre muchos más, ahí sí solo, solo la D agregamos, la ED. Ahora, ejemplo sería, pongamos que Tyler... Danced at the party. Tyler bailó en la fiesta, right? Tyler danced at the party. Bailó. Another mm -hmm. example can be Jonathan called the police. Jonathan llamó a la policía. Mm -hmm. Esos son regulares. Los verbos irregulares, let's continue. De... Los irregulares cambian, they change. Look, change the form. Cambian la forma. En el pasado, me refiero de presente a pasado, cambian su forma. Sell es vender. Okay. En pasado ya no, ya no es sell it. Okay. 
o podemos confundirnos con la que es Excelent, pero no es Excelent, porque el verbo Cell es irregular, quiere decir que su forma es diferente a la de presente. El pasado es Soul. Okay. Uh, pongamos aquí Hide, que es esconderse. El pasado es Hit. Pongamos aquí Train, no, no, eso no. Pongamos C, que es ver, el pasado es So. Por ejemplo, I saw my cousin last week. Vi, vi a mi primo la semana pasada. I saw my cousin last week. Okay. Ahora, entonces, para diferenciar o para saber cuál verbo es regular y cuál verbo es irregular, hay que memorizar el listado de los irregulares, de los irregulares. Okay. Ajá. Y de esa forma podemos, podemos, vamos a poder uh, ser capaces de diferenciar cuál es cuál. Okay. Okay. Yes. ¿Preguntas? Mm, no, no fue okay. sentencia. Ok. Es clear. All right, all right. Ok. Uh, de igual forma, si hay preguntas, avíseme ya sea por acá, por el chat de Zoom en las clases, o por WhatsApp, ¿ok? Sí, siento que, que, el, que más que todo sería como mm, también memorizar la pronunciación. Sí, todo eso. Todo sí. Eso. Hay muchas cosas. Pero... Ok. Pero... Que descanse, Mayra, y que se recupere pronto, mejore pronto su salud. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Yes, bye-bye. Sí. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.